guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax Garage, the channel that's here to help you figure out how to build your dream garage while I also do some project builds. And behind me is my 2020 Jeep Gladiator that I need to start working on again. But first, I want to give you an update about the ARE capper and how their warranty actually works. Now guys, I'm doing this video in my garage. It is actually pretty tight to work on the Jeep in the garage with the door not open, but we just had a ton of snow this weekend and outside's pretty cold and there's a lot of snow. But for some of you, I told you I got a mini bike. I did a build uh, on that last video, a build if you will. I just assembled it. And here's some footage of that this weekend where uh, I show the amount of snow I had. I <laughs> raced it around my track before we jump into talking about the ARE topper. can see we had a lot of snow it was fun riding that around I do have a snowblower now to clean up my driveway because my paranoid mind about keeping that driveway looking clean it's gonna take a while to clean those edges up because ice builds up with the you know the plow company that didn't plow correctly but let's talk into the ARE capper so if you are new to my channel thanks for stopping by but if you're a longtime subscriber, you know I've done a couple videos on this capper. This capper cost me $3,600. And I absolutely love it, but I do have some flaws. There's a video, which I'll link below and above, talking about all the problems with the capper. And there's also a video going over all the functions of the capper. But today, I'm going to address uh, the warranty issues I had with it and how they actually handle their warranty. So just to summarize the other video, if you want to see in depth, I had a couple issues. Firstly, there's fitment issues uh, with the back window. There is some fiberglass issues. There are some fitment issues with the toolbox. There's some exposed fiberglass. So when you buy a lot of things nowadays, you get an email saying, how did we do? And I decided I wasn't actually gonna contact ARE, but they contacted me with this stupid survey email. So I literally just sent them my video on everything wrong with the capper. And they decided to say, well, some of the issues aren't our problem and we're only gonna fix a couple of them. Now, when I ordered this, I was told the waiting process was six to eight weeks. Granted, we're in a pandemic, it took 12 weeks. I've heard up to 20 weeks now if you want to order one of these. So just keep that in mind. But basically, one of the issues is there's exposed fiberglass on the back. And to me, that's not good. Fiber fiberglass absorbs moisture. So I thought that was bad. They said they would fix that issue. Also, I go in detail on my other video, but there are some fiberglass blemishes where it looks like they didn't sand it down. It's some bumps or bubbles that are forming. They said they would also fix those issues. But the kicker about fixing both of these issues are, I would have to take the capper back to the, the dealer that installed it. They would ship it back to ARE Manufacturing. They would fix it there, and then they would return it back to me. Since I waited an extra four weeks from the estimated time for this, I asked them how long this process would take, and they said they don't know, but it could be anywhere from eight to 12 weeks. Now, I don't know about you guys, but if I order something, I don't necessarily want to wait 24 weeks to get it, especially when I was told it should be six to eight weeks. So I'm deciding not to get these issues fixed, because that's the whole reason I bought the cap was it's winter, I want the cap. I wouldn't have bought it if I didn't want it for the winter as well. So I'm just not getting it fixed. Now as for the other issues, the window fitment on the back, they say there's nothing wrong with that, that's how it's meant to be. To me, that's just poor craftsmanship. The toolbox issue with uh, the panels, the side panels not actually touching the side of the, the bed here. They also say that's how it is, uh, so deal with it. 
And then the back window black trim that doesn't go all the way down to the bottom, they say that's just how it's meant to be. Now, I don't know about you guys, but $3,600 is a very expensive capper. A lot of you guys have called me stupid for buying it. A lot of you guys think, oh, why didn't I just buy a Jeep Wrangler? And that's all valid. But you know what? I bought a Gladiator and I put a cap on it because that's what I wanted. And I really like this as a toolbox, which you can't actually get on the Wrangler. And the Wrangler isn't a truck where this is and it tows a lot more. So for you guys that are criticizing me, that's fine, but that's why I have it. You buy what you want, I'll buy what I want. But back to the point, since I spent a lot of money on this, I really think they could have stepped it up. The really only issue that I figured they would solve was the, the open fiberglass in the back and then the fiberglass uh, malfunction or bubbling, which they could have just given me a $500 credit or gone to a body shop locally and had a body shop fix it and then just covered the bill. To me, that would have been the easiest solution, especially because I would have been out of the cap another eight to 12 weeks potentially, which is just ridiculous, especially during winter. So I've just decided not to fix it. Their warranty, I believe, is two years. And that means I got two years to fix it if I actually care to fix it. So maybe I'm going to hit the road for a long trip in my camper and I might send this back. But until now, I don't think I'm going to do anything about it. Now, guys, I do love this topper camper, whatever you want to call it. And it's made my life easier. I do like it. But I just want you guys to know that there are issues with their warranty. There are issues with their, their craftsmanship. So if you are looking to get one of these, just be prepared. You could run into these issues. And because they have this fancy warranty, it's not actually anything. They want you to return the cap back to the manufacturer, which who's going to do that? I mean, it's going to take another eight to 12 weeks. So anyways, guys, enough about the capper. I am going to start making videos back on this. I have a two inch Mopar lift the ultimate lift, which I watched another YouTube video on. So I'm going to be doing that this uh, week and a couple other projects. So be sure you like, subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions below. But until next time, I'll see you then.